Москву. Hi, my name is Nikolai Sander. I'm the creator for, of Spawn Illuminati for the iPhone. I will give you a quick overview of the new features of the 2.5 version. Um, first off, I wanted to mention that the device I'm running on here actually is not a physical iPhone, but it's uh, the software simulator running on my Mac. And um, because of that, there's going to be a few differences. Most, most importantly, you see my cursor, not a finger. And uh, the other issue is that I can't really touch the screen with two fi with three fingers. Um, so that means in order to get my circle menu, I have to click here in the lower left corner. Um, that's only for the simulator, not for your phone. So if you want to get the circle menu, just touch the screen with three fingers as usual. Um, the other thing is if I adjust a parameter, for example, um, the speed parameter here, um, you will see these two dots on the screen. And then when I slide them up and down here on the left side, you see the um, um, the indicator that basically shows how, f how far along in my range of values I am. So this is the size that I'm controlling right now, making it big or making it making it smaller. Okay, with that, let's get started. Um, let me actually reset the settings first. So we start out with uh, normal spawn as it comes when you install it. Um, I'm gonna slow down the speed of the particles just a tiny little bit. So you see that one of the new features um, of Spawn 2.5 is here on the left side, the, the indicator that um, shows you the range of the parameter. I just mentioned that. Um, and that gives you a good idea of you know, how, how far along you are and you know, how, much more, how much more there is to, uh, to adjust, which is nice. Um, the other feature that we added is a pause feature. So um, while your spawns are fl flying around, you can touch the screen with two fingers. I'll dismiss this. And that basically freezes the frame. So if I touch with two fingers again and release, then it's going to play again, freeze, release, and so on. Um, if you, if you uh, want to take, let's say you want to take like a screenshot or something, and you want to just advance a few frames further, what you can do is you can just tap with your finger, and it's going to um, advance just a tiny little bit, just a frame um, to show you the animation of the particles. So if you want to get the perfect shot, you can uh, do that easily like this. Or you can hold down your finger and while you're holding it down, it's going to keep playing when you release. Um, it's going to stop playing again and then you can take a screenshot. In regards to the screenshot, we have a built-in um, screenshot in the menu. Here you just click on that little camera and it's going to store an image in your uh, library your uh, camera roll but um, the quality of that image is not as good as if you just press the home and the lock button at the same time um, so the the iPhone screenshot is better and there's unfortunately no way for me to achieve the same quality um, that's an SDK limitation um, so um, in order to get that perfect screenshot you can just pause it and then take the um, press the home button and the lock button and uh, afterwards uh, resume the play. Um, the other big new feature for uh, Spawn 2.5 is the symmetry mode that you turn on like this. I'm going to turn on symmetry and blur mode and what that basically does is it mirrors the um, animation of the spawn um, in a couple of different ways. So Right now we have around, let me see, 16 mirrors. And I can adjust the number of mirrors by going here into the animation menu. Click on the mirror icon or the uh, number of mirror icon. And then let me create a few more spawns so we can see it better. And then I can create more mirrors or I can reduce the number of mirrors to six. Six is the, the lowest number that I can adjust. And then if I dial it up, um, we can get more mirrors. So this is a neat little uh, parameter to change. Um, otherwise, I can adjust the um, symmetry zoom by choosing this parameter. So now when I do a pinch or spread motion, I can zoom in and out of my, uh, of my whole field of view. So zooming in here, you can get more detail or you can zoom out. You see there's, there's a few aliasing artifacts when you zoom out, but if you if you 
increase the size a little bit, it looks a lot better. So um, this gives some, some nice visuals. Also, when you zoom out a lot, um, it is recommendable that you increase the speed a little bit. Um, otherwise, it's, it's, it almost is going to look static. I mean, there's, there's a little bit of animation in there, but you see if I, if I increase the speed like that, um, it's going to be a lot more dynamic. Okay, what else is new? Let me zoom in quite a tiny little bit again. So a few more things are changing here. Um, then in regards to the symmetry parameters, we also have the symmetry rotation mode or the symmetry, symmetry rotation parameter. And here, by doing a spread or a pinch, um, you see I can basically change the area where the... Um, the, the spawns are recorded in. So sometimes it can happen that you, you know, the, the air in the screen where the spawns are flying around, um, um, there might be not any spawns in there. Um, so if you do the, the the rotation, you get different patterns, and also you, you you know your chances are higher if you go somewhere else to have more more spawn in there. So uh, these are the main new features um, of 2.5. Um, the beauty, of course, comes as always to uh, combine all these different uh, features that we have new together. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase um, the tail length a little bit of my spawn and I'm going to add a little bit of a, um, a zoom, zoom speed here. And then I'm going to pause the, the current spawn. I'm going to decrease the speed a tiny little bit. This is a neat little trick. Here you see on the left side the indicator again, slow, where I, I adjust my speed. And I turn off the blur mode and turn on abstract mode. And uh, then I'm just holding down the button and see what happens here is it's going to draw these, um, these little spawn in abstract mode on top of the actual blur, blurred image that I rendered before. So this gives quite a cool effect that you can achieve here. Um, let me do this again. I'm going to turn off abstract, turn blur on again, hold it down, let it do a little thing, boom, now it's something that I think looks good. And again, I turn off abstract, turn on, I turn off blur, turn on abstract, and now I just hold it down a little bit to give it like a little of this. So these are pretty cool images that you can create using uh, the new spawn. And of course you can, uh, you can uh, turn on the microphone mode and um, have like a micro microphone zoom speed and um, let me unpause the whole thing so it, it just keeps playing and I'm gonna turn off abstract mode real quick turn blur mode on and increase the microphone zoom speed a little bit so here you can see with the with me talking into the microphone it actually changes how um, how it, it's, it's zooming in into the particles. So that's a pretty cool feature, again, that you can enable on, uh, on uh, spawn symmetry. Let me pause it right here, and now go back to abstract mode, and wow. Yeah, this is pretty neat stuff that you can create like that. Nice, all right, I could go on playing forever with this thing. Anyway, I hope you like the new features. Um, and uh, if you have any questions uh, or any feedback in regards to Spawn, uh, drop me an email um, at support at eodsoft.com. You also find um, the email address in the, um, in the help page that you can access by clicking the star menu and then just here. You click on the little question mark and then the help comes up. Okay, I hope you have fun with Spawn and um, take care.